I was saying earlier, this is such a good date spot because you can talk about, you know, the bands that you like and find out what they like. And if they don't like certain things, you can be like, peace. Hey, this is Bishop Briggs and we are at Cops Records today and this is the LP spree. I think I have to just dive into Kanye West. I mean, he is a musical genius, crazy person. I'm just gonna, you know, bring out every single one. This was my entire high school experience. Oh my gosh, nobody understood me. And all of these records, I just feel they're so timeless and you could just listen to them over and over. I'm trying to think which one I should take. Oh, this has Gold Digger. Okay, you know, I'm gonna do this one. Okay, so this is gonna be number one. I feel like we're off to a great start. Oh, okay. Amy Winehouse. This definitely has to go in. Um, I do love some of her older stuff, but I'm gonna go with the one and only Amy Winehouse, Back to Black. I think that with albums, they really take a piece of your soul and uh, whenever I listen to this, I just, my heart aches. And this is the first uh, vinyl that I got when I first got a record player. Oh, this is really cool. They have soundtrack section. I didn't even see this. Oh, they have Jaws. <gasps> oh, da da. Oh, it's so good. So my dad was a huge Jimi Hendrix fan. But the thing that I'm seeing here, and this actually got me really excited about originally first writing, is Carole King. And uh, she has, I'm trying to think which album I should go with. Oh, here. Yes, this is the one. Okay, so this was on repeat. And I don't know why I feel a little embarrassed about this because uh, it was just something that like nobody knew about me. And for some reason I would just like play the piano and sing these songs, but like it would be very private. So I'm gonna throw this in, in here. Definitely have to call my mom. She was the only one that knew that this was happening. Okay, I'm gonna throw in Lord. I almost feel like I don't need to explain this. Lord is incredible. Um, I actually re-listened to this album the other day, but I never listened to the vinyl version, which is a whole different thing, especially at Cops. Okay, you guys, not to be that person, but I am on this. That's me, so tied up. How cool is that? Oh my gosh, I definitely should buy this. When I first moved to LA, I would drive around Mulholland Drive and just listen to Cold War Kids in my car. And then basically one day I got a phone call and they had heard my voice and uh, asked me to come in. And then we did this uh, live studio version of their song that's called So Tied Up. And that was actually our first time meeting. But the entire time I just had to pretend to be confident and just pretend that this was normal and basically after we filmed everything and after everything was recorded, and then I, I was like, okay, cool. I just have to tell you guys, I'm so excited and I'm the biggest fan. <laughs> and I just had to like be myself. This is definitely gonna have to go in place of something. I'm gonna have it go in place of Carol King, you know, starting a new leaf, writing new songs, being less hidden. And so my four top choices, Amy Winehouse. Back to Black. This is soul in an album to a T, and this is the best thing to listen to if you are just getting into vinyls. Kanye West. I could have picked any album, I just went with this one. Gold Digger is my jam. Lord. Also seems like an angel sent from, sent from above. This album shook everyone, and uh, I think that's something to say. This is a not so shameless self-plug, clearly. <laughs> no, but uh, I really do like this album. Just so we are clear, I do love, ooh, Love is Mystical. I love Can We Hang On. I think there's a few. And of course, you know, I am a little biased, but I think the one that I am on is, is, is a great as well. <laughs> and that has been the LP Spree with me, Bishop Briggs, at Cops Records. I was gonna say decent, then I was like, that sounds terrible. Um, 